Welcome to our feature clip on Intelligent Forecasting for SAP Business One, release 9.2. A good forecasting process delivers value to its users. It helps sell more product and make more customers happy. So it gives them visibility on demand history. It helps them prioritize opportunities and position channels to face growing demand. Predicting future demand is critical for business planning and also serves as an invaluable input for material resource planning. With SAP Business One 9.2 version for HANA, you can predict future demand for your products with the help of statistical methods. Intelligent Forecast utilizes two predictive methods from the SAP HANA database. Once you have finalized your prediction, you can leverage the results in a forecast which could be later used for material resource planning. So let's have a look at a typical business scenario that uses Intelligent Forecast. Jason Butler from OEC Computers is responsible for predicting the market demand for his Office Print product series. Jason is required to estimate demand over the next six months and based on this forecast, OEC Computers will carry out material resource planning. So let's now execute this scenario in SAP Business One release 9.2. In SAP Business One, we begin by navigating to MRP Forecast window. We are going to create a new forecast by entering a forecast code and forecast name for the first half of 2016. The time frame to be predicted is from February through to July. So we're going to adjust the end date until July 31st, and then we want to use a monthly prediction. You also have the option to view daily and weekly, but in this case, we're viewing monthly as a monthly forecast. From the forecasts window, we can now directly navigate to Intelligent Forecast by selecting Generate Forecast, Intelligent Forecast. So Jason would like to base the forecast on the JB Office Print products. So now we need to select these products in our forecast. We're selecting the items by item, as opposed to preferred supplier or default warehouse, which is also an option. And now we're going to select our item range. Demand should be predicted based on past accounts receivable invoices. You can also base your sales history on sales order or delivery documents. But in this case, we're going to select AR invoice and now we click on forecast. Based on input, SAP Business One predicts the future demand for the JB Office Print series per warehouse. So you can actually see in the forecast in this table, for example, the demand for Office Print A00001 in Warehouse 1 is expected to be 38 in March. In the graph below, the forecast for the selected product is a line chart. The blue line shows the historical sales numbers based on the invoices, and the orange line is the predicted demand. Here you can actually see an outlier in the past. There was a large one-off deal back in February. 2010, which is unlikely to occur again. So given this one-off transaction can greatly affect the prediction results, we are going to adjust this outlier by dragging the value from 500 to say 50 pieces, which is a more likely occurrence. You can immediately see the change for example, in the prediction result, the peak in the orange line has now disappeared. You can also adjust the number of time buckets you want to use to perform the forecast. So currently SAP Business One uses up to the previous 100 months for prediction. You can now change this value to say 24, for example. By choosing forecast again, the system will only factor the invoice figures of the past 24 months in its prediction. To estimate how reliable this prediction is, 
You could use Hindcast. For example, SAP Business One predicts demand from a starting date in the past, such as November 2015. In this case, SAP Business One uses past data until November 2015 to forecast the demand after that date. Since the prediction which is represented by the yellow line does not deviate much from the real demand represented by the blue values, we can assume that the statistical model used has presented a reliable prediction. Finally, we are going to save our intelligent forecast and this will carry over the prediction values into the forecast window. We simply select save and close. We can now choose to add and this forecast for the first half of 2016 will be available for consumption in the MRP process. Thank you for your time today and ensure you check out what's new in SAP Business One 9.2 on our YouTube playlist.